don't let Joseph abort your baby. Don't let Joseph abort your baby. When Mary receives the word from the angel, she says, let it be according to your will. She confirms with her words the word of God. And then she comes to Joseph. And so Joseph, I am pregnant and I promise it's from God. And Joseph is like, yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> this is not a first time that this has happened. I actually had a true story of a similar case when I had a person sitting in my office. No exaggeration. And he had um, a person who was pregnant. They were getting married. And he met with me and, uh, and I said, hey, how did it happen? You guys getting married? That's so awesome. And he's like, Pastor Vlad, I just want to tell you two things. I wanted to be clear straight up two things. And I said, please go ahead. He said, number one, me and my girlfriend made a decision. We will not have sex until we get married. I was like, great. He said, but then we also made a second decision. We want to have a baby before we get married. And I was like, through adoption? No. And I'm sitting there like an idiot. I'm trying to understand how is that possible first and the second at the same time. And he has the audacity. And this is a person who has education who is very smart. He looks at me and he says we have accomplished both of them at the same time and I said that and I was like bro I do not have spiritual discernment to understand the depth and complexity of your situation I'm just gonna pray for you that God will open your mind and bless your baby and your wife and everything all together but stuff like that happens so I want you to imagine, please, I know that it's easy for us to sit and judge Joseph right now because Joseph, you know, he didn't understand. But imagine you being Joseph and the little girl you're engaged to comes and says, trust me, it's from God. Really? Come on, at least admit it and repent and let's move forward. No, it's from God. What would you do? You don't have a proof. There is no video surveillance, video camera to prove the angel spoke to you. There is no audio recording. There is no pictures. Nobody saw an angel talking to you. It's only your word against his and you're a woman and that culture, your word means nothing. Here's one way we can fix this. Get rid of the baby. We will move forward with the wedding. What if angel didn't speak to me? What if all of that is just a hallucination? What if it's just, it's just been crazy and Mary here has a second thing to She just spoke the word. It just got confirmed. She conceived. And here comes the second step. It's when your situation will question your revelation. When whenever you believe, it starts questioning starts being questioned by the things you're facing in your life. Whatever you're hoping for begins to be challenged. You've set a goal, you're running with it, you said I'm gonna start changing the way I speak, I'm gonna start changing the way I think and then comes Joseph and Joseph is to throw you off and Mary does not abort the baby. Mary holds on, Mary says I will not quit. And Joseph plans to leave her and she knows this is going to be bad. This could end up in my death. But I'm not going to give up what God has started. You know, same thing happened to Judas. When Satan placed in Judas's mind to betray Jesus. And Judas agreed with it. But then came the test. Some of us don't see that as a test. But Judas was convinced Jesus was bad. Jesus was worth selling. Jesus wasn't worth more than 30 shekels and here is the very Jesus he's convinced inside is worth to sell. This Jesus comes to Judas, takes his sandals and begins to wash his feet. This is a hit and inside pregnancy. This is a chance for Judas to quit thinking like he was thinking about Jesus. This is a moment to know Jesus is not a fool. He knows what you're planning against him and he is still touching your feet. He is not squishing them. He is not pinching them. He is touching them softly to let you know Judas abort the negativity you have inside. I'm not that bad. I'm not against you. What did I do to you Judas? I love you. I am for you and sometimes the enemy will throw bad things in your life to put a question mark on the revelation and the destiny that you have inside of you. 
but God will do the same when the enemy has something inside of you that you're convinced you will never amount to anything and God will give you good things in life just to mess with that and shake that up so you will abort and give up every negative mindset in your head and say God is good and I'm gonna trust him can somebody say amen put your hands together for Jesus Christ the Bible says it's the goodness of God that leads men to repentance I've seen people who don't believe, completely not believe and God will completely surprise them just for one thing. So they will give up and say, God, you are good. And from now on, I'm going to believe in you. Don't give up when Joseph challenges you. Do not surrender when challenges come your way. I remember in the beginning of the year when me and my wife made a decision to give this. It was a very big number uh, of money to one ministry we gave this decision to give a very big number for first three four months and then we decided to take it a little bit lower that money was supposed to come from one of my rentals some of you know rentals in tri-cities were doing really good 98 to 97 percent of occupancy which means that if you put a place for rent it will be rented like this i remodeled the duplex kept the same price for this particular unit one month goes i can't find rent but i need to pay the money that i promised second month goes and I can't find rent third month goes and I can't find rent I remember I was wiring that money through Walmart I was standing in Walmart line waiting for that little check thing to send the money overseas to the missions and I have these thoughts in my mind literally from the devil saying you are losing your mind you are crazy this is not gonna work you are insane what are you doing literally it just seemed like give up quit this is not for you this will never work and I stood there in Walmart I remember it like yesterday I closed my eyes and I said God I'm not sure whether I'm what I'm doing is right maybe I misheard you but if I'm gonna be a fool I'm gonna be a fool that trusts you if I'm gonna go broke because of this let it be known I did it because I dared to trust you and from now on God you do whatever you do but I make up my mind no abortion I'm not gonna quit and within a few weeks I found rent and the surprising part is that I had a trip right away planned where I was speaking at one place it was one youth group that invited me and my wife paid for both of our tickets which if you know anything about traveling on the other side of the United States it's a lot of money if it's a small youth group if they cover for your tickets that's huge and after the trip when we left uh, the youth group came and they said we wanted to bless you they did not know what was going through what I was going through and I've never had this in my life where somebody handed me three thousand dollars and I remember I, we opened that check in the airport and both of us start crying because and that Walmart when those thoughts came I was this close to leave and say you know what I I'm gonna do it when everything is works out but little did I know is God was just preparing me and testing me inside just like he did Mary and he will do to you when you believe in the dream you will have the Joseph situation what everything will seem like if you just give up this everything will be fine nothing will be fine if you give up everything will be fine if you don't and if you do what Mary did and she says I won't give up and it's amazing few months later Joseph gets a revelation it will be amazing how God will quickly change the Josephs in your life the situations in your life to match to the revelation you have inside of you God will change your situation can somebody say amen if you are sick in your body and maybe today you say I give up on the whole idea I prayed once prayed second time I knew God is not gonna heal me no 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 hold on to the truth inside of you God is on my side he is my healer he will help me and it's a matter of time and God will line up